From the inside in red is Dave Mullet, Mitch Shearer in blue off gate number two, Martin Dugard in white, he's off three, and on the outside in yellow and black, Andy Smith. Dugard, of course, a race winner, first time out. So a fairly clean start there for the rider in blue, that's Mitch Shearer. Smith comes flying around the outside, Martin Dugard's been left at the back. So Dugard now moves himself into third place. Andy Smith comes around the outside. And it really is getting very tight out there. It's Mitch Shearer, who is perhaps going to be a bit of a shock today. Had a win first time out as well. Martin Dugard and Andy Smith having a fair old battle at the back of this one. Dugard's in trouble. He's gone down. And that was a very heavy crash indeed. Oh, we can have a look at that from a different angle in replay. So if you watch for Andy Smith, he's in yellow and black. He tries to go around the outside and he really doesn't leave Martin Dugard any room at all. So even more so when you can see it in slow motion. Uh, it's obvious that someone had to give there, and unfortunately, it was Martin Dugard. Obvious concern there from Mitch Shearer, and you can just see the state of Martin Dugard's bike now. Well, how about that? And that really is uh, a very pleasant sight indeed to see Martin able to walk away after that horrendous spill. Uh, a great deal of activity surrounding Martin Dugard in the pits right now. <laughs> well, the doctor wants him checked out. So it looks like he could have damaged a collarbone. You see, he really is in uh, a fair amount of discomfort now. Lee Adams just going over to find out how he is. Mark, you've come here today, obviously you're not under too much pressure, but that was a very impressive first ride. Yeah, um, made a uh, fairly good gate. I thought I, I just drifted a bit wide and Kelvin got inside me, but uh, happy with the two points anyway. You're having a fabulous uh, year in Division 2 at the moment. I mean, up there at the top of the averages with David Barge. Yeah, um, yeah it's going OK. I've had a few light ends and troubles and that, but uh, hopefully I've got them all ironed out and carry on. Well, they reckon today that six points, maybe seven will be enough to see you through. You've already got two from your first ride, so you must be feeling a bit happy. Well, I'm pleased I got some... I just wanted to make sure I got some points in my first race, you know. It always makes it... makes you feel a bit better, but, uh, you know, you just can't afford to slacken off or anything, you know. It's so... every race is tough. Obviously, your ambition is eventually to go into top-flight racing, and today you might have a few promoters taking notice of you. Yeah, well, uh, it'd be nice too, so... Um, just have to see what happens today, anyway. Well, while we were talking to Mark Thorpe, Martin Dugard has come out of the ambulance room. The doctor suspects he has got a broken collarbone, but he said he is going to continue with the meeting. So, uh, what a brave boy this is. What about the other lads? Are they ready? Andy Smith, incidentally, excluded for being the cause of that crash. So he's in trouble. So far, he's got no points from two rides. 
Brilliant. So anxious moments then for Martin Dugout. You can see he can hardly move his uh, right arm at all there. He needs some help to get his helmet on now. His teammate, Dean Barker, who was meeting reserve, of course, today, no longer required to race. All the riders have had their first uh, appearance out there on the track. So Dino just in there helping out. I mean, have you ever seen Dean complain about flying? I'm not going to wank him off, because that's not even true. When he got injured. So a great reception then for Martin Dugard as he's set to try again for heat number five. Now they reckon that six or seven points will be the cut-off today. So Dugard will just be trying so hard to get the points in early on in the meeting now. So from the inside then it is David Mallet, but look at Martin Dugard as he just shuts the door in the opposition. It is Dugard in front, second place now, Mitch Shearer. But Martin Dugard, defying doctor's orders, continues to race. And it looks like he's set to take the honours in this one. And if anybody deserved to pick up this Commonwealth crown today, it is Dugard. So he's in front, he's got Shearer, who was the race leader when the uh, first attempt at heat number five was stopped. He's in second place, Dave Mallet in third. And as we said before, Mallet may be finding it going just a little bit tough in this one. But as we enter the final lap, it is still Martin Dugard. This youngster rides for the Oxford Cheetahs. Considered by many to be a real prospect for World Championship success again. Thoroughly deserved victory there in the restart of heat number five. Once again, assistance there for Martin Dugard. Dean Barker will uh, really have his work cut out this afternoon. So gently gets the crash helmet off. And you have to salute this man. He really is such a brave rider. Be a long old afternoon. And if he is actually racing with a broken collarbone, we'll just keep our fingers crossed that he doesn't get involved in any more scrapes out there.